Fate of Harvey Weinstein rests, rests with the jury. Seven men and five women will begin deliberating tomorrow after weeks of graphic testimony. CBS New York's Alice Gaynor has more. A former Hollywood heavyweight, both literally and figuratively, an older, thinner, hunched over 67-year-old Harvey Weinstein now enters criminal court daily with the aid of a walker following surgery. A walker that's been called a prop by the prosecution. Once a powerful man capable of making an actor a star, now on trial accused of raping and sexually assaulting aspiring actresses, of using that influence to prey on these women. In court, naked photos of Weinstein were shown to the jury after at least two accusers gave descriptions. Deformed is how Jessica Mann described him, saying it looked like he was missing parts of his genitalia. Weinstein just laughed it off. <laughs> Though they dated for a time, Weinstein is charged with raping Mann in a Manhattan hotel room in 2013. She says she never told anyone out of embarrassment. Often by force of subpoena, the defense called witnesses, trying to poke holes in accuser stories. I didn't want to come. Actress and former friend of Mann's, Talita Maya, says she never heard about the alleged rape and says Mann always described Weinstein as her spiritual soulmate. In 2006, Mimi Haley alleges Weinstein forcibly performed a sex act on her at his Soho apartment. He pushed her onto the bed in the apartment. She kept saying, no, no. The defense pointed out other consensual physical encounters and flattering emails Mann and Haley both sent Weinstein after the alleged attacks. Like one man sent saying, as always, happy to see your smile. Looking forward to catching up. The defense painted them as opportunistic. The women said they feared for their careers and didn't want to anger him. Actress Annabella Sciorra testified Weinstein allegedly raped her in the early 90s, pushing his way into her apartment, later telling her, this remains between you and I. Actress Rosie Perez took the stand, testifying Sciorra told her about it back then. Can you talk about how important it was for you to testify? Very important. The defense called former friend of Sciorra's and current Weinstein ally, Paul Felcher, who said he didn't know about the rape, and it was his understanding that she fooled around with him. But during an explosive cross-examination, also told the court he believed Weinstein had a sex addiction. Skior's rape claim is past the statute of limitations, but it is being used for the predatory sexual assault charge. Six accusers took the stand, though he's only facing charges related to three. The others testified in an effort by the prosecution to show Weinstein was a serial sexual predator. Don Dunning testified he put his hand up her skirt at a meeting in 2004, saying, don't make a big deal about this. And on another occasion said, here's contracts for three films. I'll sign them today if you have a threesome with me and my assistant. Tarale Wolf says Weinstein told her she was doing a movie reading, then allegedly raped her, saying, don't worry, I have a vasectomy. Model Lauren Young brought in the dress she was wearing in 2013 when she alleges Claudia Salinas shut an L.A. hotel bathroom door on Young and Weinstein, trapping her inside as Weinstein groped her and performed a sex act on himself. Salinas testified it never happened. Weinstein maintains any sexual encounters were consensual and did not take the stand, though he claimed he wanted to, talked out of it by his legal team. He did not need to do that because the evidence presented in this case was anemic at best. The defense also had a memory expert take the stand to talk about how memories change over time. And the prosecution called a forensic psychiatrist to talk about why victims stay in touch with their abusers.